Okay, I've match drilled all of the six holes uh, through the horn, or in, in the horn through the bottom here, uh, bottom rib. I've added the four Clecos as it says. I've removed these back Clecos because now I have a feeling we're going to start attaching things to this much bigger piece of aluminum. Be right there. These steps go really quickly. Good thing, right? Good thing indeed. So this is a picture of what that bottom ended up looking like. I had more video of it, but I lost it at some point. Um, but once I got the, that Clecoed up, I moved on to the next step, which was uh, putting together all those ribs for the rudder there. Uh, I had to, of course, read the instructions and make sure I was doing the right thing a couple times, as is... Uh, my want to do, you'll read the instructions a lot. In fact, later in this video, I, I would have a part where I was reading the instructions for like five minutes straight, and I'll burn through it. But yeah, lots of peeling off the blue stuff, listening to one of my audiobooks, and going to town. I mean, some of this stuff is just, you know, you do the same action over and over again, and not much you can do about it. Part and parcel for making an airplane. And this is what it looks like. As I said, I had a bunch more video where I uh, walk through this, the putting this together, uh, talk show host style, but uh, I lost it. it. It just didn't the, either. The, I, I think I accidentally deleted it actually when I was moving it off the camera. Um, so I kind of made a decision. Welcome back, everybody. So with that, with what you uh, just finished watching, I'm going to go back to the other style of filming. I uh, I wanted to try the you know television show host version of filming for this stuff, and I found that I spent a lot more time worrying about getting the shot and less time worrying about doing it right. And in the long run, doing it right is is the goal, you know. Uh, so I'm probably going to go back to the format of me doing the work and then talking over it. Uh, just as a, a matter of course. The other way was interesting, it was uh, kind of a fun experiment, but in the long run, I ended up spending a lot of time getting those shots, just getting the uh, video I needed to make all that work. And, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, it was taking away from building the plane, which is the whole purpose. Um, so, back to the old way, I think it was better anyway. I couldn't agree more. It's almost like I said exactly what I wanted to say myself. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyways, so, yep, continue on to build the thing. Here we go. This part was all really easy, by the way. It's just a lot of, like I said, rinse, wash, repeat, do the same thing over and again. Drill hole, drill hole, drill hole, you know. I mean, it's just, I, I think it's a, a theme throughout creating this uh, whole airplane is you're just going to do a lot of the exact same stuff over and over again. really makes you appreciate the uh, effort and man hours that goes into building these things. And you kind of marvel, or at least I kind of marvel at how some of these aircraft manufacturers can create uh, some of their aircraft in, you know, just a, a month or two, you know, or even faster, I, I guess. I don't know. It, it just, it boggles the mind. I can't imagine the number of people that have to be all you know, working on it at the same time uh, in order to make it happen that quickly. So, yeah. And here I'm getting uh, more familiar with the various Scotch-Brite products. Um, I have pulled out one of the pads and started working on getting some of the rough edges off some of these pieces, especially the, uh, the top of the rudder uh, where you have to do the cutting uh, which I did an earlier video upstairs to, to mate two pieces together. Uh, those cuts were pretty rough. In fact, uh, all of these, the rudder spars and, and ribs are cut. So you got to, you know, really smooth those down. Otherwise, they're, they're pretty rough. I don't know, honestly, how important it actually is. It's one of those things that I, I mean, in this... This is pretty strong stuff. I, I don't know if it's one of those things that you absolutely must do or else, oh my God, Zora, is the plane's going to fall out of the sky. I don't know. Uh, they say it's important, so I'm treating it as important and I'm going to do it. Uh, it just It's one of those things that I, I sometimes find myself questioning whether or not I actually need to do this. 
I can tell you right now, I'm going to go through several of those scratch bright wheels. Uh, I've got like four of them, I think. And one of them is already pretty worn down. And the second one's got a, uh, you know, a crease in it. Uh, I think I'm going to get a uh, bench grinder and buy one of the bigger scratch bite wheels to put on the bench grinder. That way I don't have to use it on my drill because it, it goes through the battery pretty quick. Yep. Reading the instructions. Again. I think, actually, this is like almost eight or nine minutes of me just sitting here rereading the instructions on that leading edge and how the skin attaches and all that. Not, you know, I, I don't want to screw it up, so I, I reread and, and just make sure I understand it and, you know, look at the part, look at the instructions and just try to fully understand what's going on before I dive into it, which is, is good, but sometimes, uh, I, I don't know if I overread or what, but uh, you know, I even confuse myself after a while. Kind of amusing, really. I cut out most of it because it's really boring. In fact, this whole thing is probably really boring. Sorry about that. And once I figure out exactly what I'm supposed to do, I realize I need to get the skin, and it's time to peel the skin, peel the blue stuff. Peeling this blue stuff is painful. Uh, I reasoned that I need to be able to pull it uniformly across this big sheet, so I thought a stick might work, and I tried, like, rolling it, thinking maybe I could use it as a roller and peel it off that way, and that didn't really work. Uh, but it did work uh, as a just grab it and, and pull, and then uh, I'm deburring the various edges and bits, trying to get the... Uh, the sharp bits knocked down before we begin working on the next step, which uh, is going to be riveting, I assume. I also do go ahead and uh, prime all this, by the way. <laughs> 